All right, all right. So we are back. Uh, this is a follow-up video to the uh, thermal pad replacement of the 3080 Ti. And again, I was getting 104, 106, 108 temps on the top three cards in the rig, all 3080 Ti Aces model, running T-Rex Minor, the latest version. And I decided to change the pads on the first one, GPU Zero, because it was, like I said, 104, 106. It was just getting hotter. I took it apart, replaced the pads, changed the thermal paste, cleaned the fans, and cleaned off the dust from the heat sink, put it back in, put it back in, and my God, the thing spiked to 110, so I knew I did something wrong. And But uh, while this thing was running, even before the thermal paste, the other two cards were in the red too. But when I took that one out, the other two went below 100. So it was very odd that uh, that would happen. So anyway, I put more thermal paste on the CPU part of the card, and uh, this is the result. So you got some red, but not as bad as it was, and it goes back down below 100. So right there you see 90s, and uh, you saw the thermal paste I used before, and the thermal pad uh, product I bought. Uh, note is always buy more thermal pads than you think you need. I ran through most of my two millimeters on just one 3080 Ti. I went, oh my God. That went quick, so uh, yeah. So now the um, now the temps are normal, a lot better. I know you some, some may say it's still high, but that is a hundred percent better than what I was showing. Top three or four cards were above a hundred, and now I don't know that one card must have triggered the other two just to get hot in the memory. I have no idea. So here we have HW Info. This is a free app. Everyone should have this in their toolbox when you're GPU mining. And it's an awesome tool, download it, put it on right when you're installing your Windows, and you'll have all this great information, the sensor information, CPU, motherboard, everything, memory, and all the GPUs. And you'll see me scroll through here on the GPU temperatures, the voltage used, the mem temperature. It's an awesome, awesome tool. You wonder why Windows doesn't make it. It took some, someone at HW Info to make a very useful product. Yeah, so here you go. That's all that good stuff there. You can just see what I'm doing. Very useful. All right. Yeah, I do mine Windows 10. I don't use any of the stuff. I tried HiveOS and uh, NiceHash, and I ended up just kind of mining to Dagger Hashimoto, which is NiceHash, just to get the Bitcoin. The fees were high, so I said, nah, I don't need NiceHash at this time or HiveOS. I can do this myself because I want to learn because I'm still a noob to this. I just want to learn to keep my hands dirty into Windows and mining and controlling the miner software as well. Uh, I like that power. I know you can do it in HiveOS, but I don't want to pay fees either. Yeah, so that's it. I'm mining uh, here on Windows. Things are running a lot better. The temps are reasonable, and it gives me more hope. Even when I took the GPU apart, there was no sign of anything burning or overscoring or anything. Uh, yeah, so I wasn't... Again, seeing red kind of made me nervous, and changing the thermal pads and putting a lot of thermal paste on the CPU... The GPU's uh, chip made a huge difference. I was very sparing. I just put a thin layer. I said the second time I popped that thing off, I, I took that thing apart so quick and put it together within 15 minutes. The first time took over an hour. Uh, it's amazing how good you get it uh, working on GPUs once you just need to get it done. And I just gobbed on some freaking thermal paste and said, screw it. I'm just going to put as much as is reasonable without getting too crazy. And it made a huge difference. The temp went from 110. Oh my God, I thought this is going to catch on fire. So 110 down to uh, 96, 98. And you'll see a random 100, 102. But boom, it drops back down. But maintains the hash rate of 87. So it doesn't thermal throttle. Because sometimes when it was hitting 110, obviously thermal throttling, you'll see it in the pop-up here. Thermal throttling on these cards starts at 110 and you'll drop the hash rate by half almost to the thing receipts, resettles. And there you see some red there. That's that's great, man. I'm happy to even see a hundred is not bad at all from what I was showing. If you if you look at if you look at a previous video, see man, the massive red. It's like, oh god, am I gonna burn these these highly expensive GPUs out in under a year? And I just kind of made me sick going, oh god, what have I done? Have I bought too much hardware too soon and not learned how to do it? And uh, just going, oh my god, money pit. But uh, I recovered. I feel a lot better now. Even though mining is down, you know, Ethereum's at 2,600 now. Bitcoin's at what? Oh, it's under 40. So, yeah, who knows? It's a winner of crypto. Who gives a crap? Uh, I'm in it for the long term, and I want to just keep mining. Uh, I got the grow tent working all right. The heat's dissipating okay, but I probably should put a second fan on. 
uh, maybe to help. But the attempts are looking good for these hot cards. I'm actually feeling really good now about this rig. And it's my money maker. It's over 500 mega hash. And I'm mining two miners and getting paid out in yummy Bitcoin. Yeah, so I'll mine ETH hash and get the Bitcoin payment to my wallet. All right, there's some more of that pace crap I used. I got our MX4 off Amazon and the pads, but I'm going to get more next time. Buy more than you think you need. Double. All right, I'm out. Thanks for watching.